All right, thank you all for coming, and I thank Senators Murray and Markey and Hirono. Well, today is an important anniversary. Exactly 105 years ago, Congress passed the 19th Amendment, granting women the right to vote for the first time. The 19th Amendment was one of the greatest leaps ever in our march to becoming a more perfect union and was only possible from decades of sacrifice, of struggle, of persistence, a lot of which started in upstate New York, I'm proud to say. Of course, we honor the countless women who sacrificed, struggled, and persisted, but we're also reminded of the daunting but valiant fight ahead. I am wearing this yellow ribbon. It was given to me by the National Commission on suffrage that kept, that allowed us to go downstairs and look at the original document, first time it showed in the Capitol. But it's in my pocket, not pinned on, because the stem broke, appropriate given what the Supreme Court has done to human rights and women's rights in the last few years. Okay, we're gonna carry, so more than a century stands between this generation and the generation that made it possible for women to vote but in many ways we still share their struggle for greater justice and equality. We still carry the same moral duty they bore to make our nation a more faithful reflection of our founding ideals. The march for equality for women and for all Americans is certainly not over, as the broken stem indicates, and we, that is why we Senate Democrats are gonna continue to fight for women's freedoms this week, including a vote on the right to contraception. When women are told by hard right politicians that their health care decisions are not theirs to make, the march is still not over. On this 105th anniversary of the passage of the 19th Amendment, we must confront the ugly truth that women sadly have fewer freedoms than they did just a few years ago. So tomorrow, the Senate will defend the freedom of choice with a vote on the Right to Contraception Act led by Markey and Hirono. Federal protections for contraceptives are a critical piece of protecting women's reproductive freedoms. This legislation would codify the right to conception into federal law. As MAGA Republicans continue to block protections for access to contraceptives at the state level, there are several states where the legislature is in the process of doing that right now. It is vital we protect contraception at the federal level, prevent the states from doing this. To those who think that federal action protecting access to birth control is not vital, they are wrong. Republicans are openly blocking these protections in states across the country. And there's gonna be more action to come. Last night, I began the Rule 14 process for the, the Right to IVF Act, led by Senators Duckworth and Murray and Booker to place it on the legislative calendar and make it available to consideration on the floor. I intend to bring this legislation protecting access to IVF up for a vote very soon. Millions of Americans have relied on IVF to have children, but after a stunningly radical decision by the Alabama Supreme Court that jeopardized access to IVF, families are rightfully worried that this option be stripped away. Go to any place in America and talk to women, and this is one of the things they're talking about. So Senate Democrats will act to safeguard and strengthen IVF access for all Americans so that everyone has the chance to start a family. In coming weeks, we will put reproductive freedoms and women's rights front and center before this chamber in hopes that we can do what we did 105 years ago, create a more perfect union.